With the recession came a big decline in overall demand, but there was also a major shift in the goods that were being demanded. In particular, manufacturing goods, particularly durable manufacturers, either durables used in investment, durables bought by households, uh, appliances, cars, uh, demand for those products particularly fell. Uh, and this shift in the composition of demand is the major factor behind the trade collapse. GDP consists of production of manufacturers, it consists much more of production of services, um, all sorts of uh, different types. Manufacturers are really just a small part of most countries' GDP at this point. However, they're still the major part of what's traded. The majority of the goods that are traded are manufactured goods. So the fact that demand shifted so much against um, the production of manufacturers is the major cause, and pretty much, if you look at the global level, the only cause of, of the trade collapse. The story is a little subtle with some countries. It was less a factor uh, for um, China. Uh, there were other issues at work there. But it was this overall decline in manufacturing demand that was responsible for the trade collapse. What's interesting, and what our most recent work has shown, is having applied our analysis to the period of the recession, we thought, well, now there's been a recovery in trade, and, and that recovery in trade has largely reversed the collapse that occurred. Uh, and we were expecting to, to see just the opposite signs on all the factors that had, had led to the initial recession. But Somewhat disturbingly, that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, the demand for manufacturers itself has not really recovered. Trade recovered to a greater extent because trade barriers continued to decline as they had been declining for decades before the Great Recession, so leading to this gradual expansion of trade, which was suddenly reversed during the recession. What we're now seeing is the trade barriers are continuing to fall leading trade to expand. But what was behind that great collapse hasn't really gone away. So as we're entering the, the or now quite far into the 21st century, we're seeing a, a pretty big change in the composition of demand uh, with, with manufacturers not playing such a big role. There hasn't been the kind of recovery that I, I thought uh, that, that we anticipated.